I receive a lot of emails here on the channel and sometimes I get questions that are really good. And today I have a very short email that I'm going to read because it's really good. It's just a great email, it's a great question and I do think I have an answer and I think that many of you might have good input on this question. It's a pretty cool topic. The person's name is Rick. The subject is finding purpose. Hi TMS, your video about goal setting was pretty cool. I've never had problems with pursuing my goals. What's hard for me is to really feel enthusiastic about something. Even if I'm into something for a week or three, it quickly fades into something else. This makes me pretty well-rounded, but I'm afraid it won't set me up for a good future since I'll be a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Anyways, I liked your positive philosophy on life, so I wondered what you think about this. Cheers, Rick. So this is a really deep question. And let me just start by saying that that phrase, jack of all trades, master of none, there is some truth to it, but it's also not bad to be a jack of all trades if you think about it, right? If you can do a lot of things pretty good, that makes you a well-rounded individual, as Rick said, and that's helpful. You know, if you know how to speak a few languages, if you know how to fix cars, if you're a good driver, if you know how to fix things, if you're fairly intelligent and you're personable and you have good social skills, that's gonna take you really far. Whereas if you're a master in one specific thing, that's not gonna help your life so much, except in the sense of perhaps uh, getting a job or getting a degree in a specific field that's difficult. And that's because in the world we live in today, in order to get a job or get a degree, you have to specialize, right? The world requires specialization, but I do think that having many skills, I do think that being a jack of all trades, I do think that's better uh, than being a master of one. So I think the, the jack of all trades, master of none, I think being a jack of all trades is more beneficial to you, Rick, as a human being. And I, I feel like your question is centered around the fact that because you lose enthusiasm after one to three weeks, that that's bad and there's something wrong, but it's normal. It's 100% normal. And here's just one reason why. So other than my personal experience, because that's how I am and that's how most people are, if you pick up any math book, right? Like for example, here's a math book. This is one on number theory. And this is one that's used. And already I've opened it up and I found uh, someone's homework in there and it has their name so I won't show it. But that's on page 20. So on page 20, there's this piece of paper here, which, yeah, there's a piece of paper here, which looks, which looks like homework and it's on page 20. Sometimes you'll see highlighting and stuff in books. And the point is, all of this happens at the beginning of a book. So near the beginning of books, you often see a lot of work. You see people motivated. And then that motivation fades. Most people are like that, right? Most people will, will take a math class and they'll start strong. They'll come in the first day of class. They'll ask questions. They'll be motivated. And that motivation will stay for a little while because most, most math classes start pretty easy. Then when things get harder, the motivation sinks. And that's typically typically what happens. So I think you're in a really good situation. I would say you're normal. There's nothing wrong with the way you're feeling. I think that's normal. And I think that the fact you consider yourself a jack of all trades and well-rounded is, is a very positive thing. But you do have to make sacrifices and work really, really hard in order to get a degree. It didn't say what you were studying. I'm assuming you're studying mathematics or something related. And so if that's the case, you know, you do need to keep that motivation up you know, into the later weeks of your courses and continue pushing forward. But just a really good email because I feel like, you know, being a jack of all trades, I think that's a very, very positive thing in life. Your email also was titled uh, Finding Purpose. And I think that's something that uh, a lot of people look for in life. They're looking for some type of purpose. Like what is the purpose of my life? And we look for answers from others. And I think at the end of the day, um, the purpose is you, is to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be, to have the happiest life, the best life that you can possibly have. And what that means depends on you. You know, what is, what is your best life? What is the best version of your life 
that you want to live. Not what society says, not what the internet says, but what do you want to do with your life? And that's a hard question for people to answer because uh, it has multiple answers, right? What you want to do with your life also has uh, another question. What do you want to do for work? Because unfortunately, in the world we live in, you do need money to live. You know, if if money were no object, you know, what would you want to do? Maybe answer that question and then try to find some way to make money and then make that dream happen. Ideally, in life, you know, when we're finding purpose through what we do for work, you want to find something that you enjoy doing because you have to do it every day. And it's a sad reality of the world, or maybe not sad, but just a reality that all of us have to do something uh, for work. So try to find something you really enjoy and keep looking for your purpose, uh, you know, in terms of work, but also try to find your purpose in terms of happiness. You know, what does that mean to you? Once you find that, you can work towards that goal. You know, a lot of people have different philosophies about uh, work. You know, they think, oh, should you do something you love or should you do something you hate for a couple of years and then retire? You know, there's all these different philosophies and ideas. And the, the, answer, the answer is, the honest answer is that there's no right way to do it and there's no wrong way to do it. But at the end of the day, you want to live your best life. That's what you want to do. There's this, there's a show I used to watch. It's called uh, The Office. And there's a scene where this guy, Daryl, he works at the warehouse. And he said something like, I'm just trying to live my best life. And I remember that scene because I thought, yeah, that, that's the way to live your life. So that, that's the purpose you want to have. So kind of a rant of a video, but I just really like this email because you know, jack of all trades, master of none. I think that that phrase indicates that it's not good to be a jack of all trades. But I, if you think about the most successful, happiest people, I mean, you want to be a jack of all trades, right? You want to have lots of skills. You want to know mathematics. You want to know physics. You want to have social skills. You want to be in shape. You, know, you, you want to have the best possible life you can have. And I realized that being a master of one is, is helpful and necessary in many cases in order to make it in the world. But, you know, what does it mean to be a master of one? Do you have to be the best? Not necessarily. As long as you're pretty good and you can find some way to make it in this world and you can live your best life, I think you've made it. Anyways, hopefully this video has been helpful to someone out there you know, watching this on the internet. If you want to learn mathematics, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you decide to buy one of my courses, please use the links from my website. I've lowered the price to make them as low as possible. So it helps me and I think you'll get a really low price if you use my links. Also, if you are not a subscriber and you feel like you found any value in this content, consider hitting the subscribe button today if you want to. And also, one more thing, I do have another YouTube channel. It's called The Fitness Sorcerer, where I just post random fitness content and other things. Subscribe there if you want to. If not, that's okay too. If you take away anything from this video is that, you know, jack of all trades, master of none. I know, what do you think about that, right? Leave a comment in the comment section below. That's really what motivated me to make this video and also reply to this email. Good luck.